Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for whenever it resonates, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Pisces? Oh, we have three cards that fell out. We're just going to take those. Faces it. What do we have for Pisces? Quill. Get back to the basics. Scissors. Disappointment in some affair. And chair. Empty. Someone is leaving your life. So there's a there's a disappointment in some affair. Okay, someone is leaving your life and it's time for you to get back to the basics. Someone is leaving your life. All right, so let's get one of these. What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Could be dealing with a Queen of Pentacles. That's what I just saw. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or Cancer. Because we have Cancer here. Somebody could also, what I just heard, I don't know if they're leaving because of Cancer. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Um, cancer. Uh, that just came up. And apparently you need to drop this weight. Whatever the weight is, it's probably been weighing you down anyway. We have get back to the basics. So there's something that probably needs to fly. It's time for it to fly. You think about that balloon, it's time for it, it's time to fly. You think about that song, it's time for me to fly. You know, maybe somebody's saying that to you. It's time for me to fly. Um, so anyway, I don't know. Let's see, well, maybe it is. Maybe it's time for them to fly. Maybe it's time for you to fly. It's time for somebody to fly. Um, that's what I hear, and I'm now I've I got the song playing in my head. It's time for me to fly by Ario Speedwagon. Uh, so somebody's flying away by the looks of things. Um, what do we have for Pisces? Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering, confidence-building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it, and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. So you need to stand your ground in some sort of situation. Um... It is time for you to get back to your basic, basics when you get scissors. Scissors are used to cut, okay? That's what scissors are used for. So something is needs to be cut out and need, you need to, you know, use the scissors. And someone is leaving your life, okay? So what do we have for Pisces? It's time though. It is time. It's time to fly. It's time to fly. It's time for you to fly. Chariot reverse. Some of you are dealing with a cancer. Cancer, sun, moon, or rising sign. Um, the chariot reverse is a stop. It's a stop. It's a dead stop. Something coming to a halt. Um, there could be an outburst ahead, an emotional outburst ahead. Um, there's some opposition. You're dealing with some opposition. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse on the bottom. There's an unhappy relationship here. There's relationship problems. Ten of Cups reversed on the bottom. So that's relationship problems. Probably being a change in your relationship. Maybe somebody that you live with. Somebody maybe moving. There's, there's a lack of happiness here. Um, this is like, it's not happily ever after. It's the end of a relationship. What do we got? 
could be it could be between your you know a family member I'm not sure uh, well something is going on here in regards to one of your relationship there's a lack of fulfillment period three of Pentacles reverse lack of togetherness lack of teamwork no mutual respect there's a lack of respect. Somebody does not work well. There's a lack of putting in effort. Uh, Eight of Cups reversed. This is pretending to be happy. Some Eight of Cups reversed. Needing to leave, but somebody's been needed to leave for a while, but they've stayed put. There's been no emotional growth. There's been no emotional fulfillment. This is like, it's been time to go for a while. There, you know, has, but somebody has stayed put. That's what the Eight of Cups reversed is. It's like refusing to move on from an emotionally dissatisfying situation, okay? There's other options, but not, you know, going in that direction because who knows why. Six of Wands reversed. That's no victory, no success. Uh, lack of recognition. There's somebody here where there's there's no progress being made. It's a constant battle. There's there's a lack of recognition. There's a lack of mutual respect. There's a lack of teamwork and togetherness. This relationship isn't emotionally functional. Um, it needs to stop. Somebody needs to master their emotions. They need to go. They want to go, but they've been staying there because I don't know why. Page of Swords reversed on the bottom. That is uh, difficulty in communication. Lies. Somebody doesn't tell the truth. There's somebody here that doesn't tell the truth with the Page of Swords reversed. This is uh, unexpected conflict on the horizon. There's overstepping of boundaries. Somebody doesn't... There's hostilities too. We got the Five of Swords. That's a hostile, extremely hostile, a lot of conflict. This is choosing to walk away. Somebody is choosing to walk away. They don't want to fight. They don't want to play anymore. They don't want to compete. There's been a constant, it's been a constant battle. A lot of bickering. A lot of hostilities. Five of Swords. This is an extremely hostile situation. Can't win. Can't win. We got somebody here that can't win. It's constant. Choosing to walk away. Somebody's walking away. They don't, want to, they don't want to deal with this anymore. There's a lot of control issues. Judgment reverse. There's definitely an absence of success here. Judgment is ill health. It's poor health. It's a poor judgment call. It's time to move on from that bad choice. So somebody, and somebody, that, that's a lack of waking up. It's lack of awakening. Um not telling the truth there's a lack of nobility here we have somebody here that isn't very noble this person uh, lacks respect for others and there's extreme pride there's extreme control issues and this, the chair at reverse is a stop. It's a no. You could be dealing with a fight this week or I don't even know when. There could be a battle. Somebody is leaving because there's no truth in it. Judgment reversed is no truth. That's a lack of truth. Yeah, I knew we had a queen of pentacles. I knew we did. 
We definitely have a Queen of Pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, however, has a golden opportunity in her hands. She is solid, stable, secure. So I don't know if that's your energy. If you're taking this is some or somebody that is around you that is in your energy. This is somebody that is very stable. This is somebody of value. This Queen of Pentacles has a golden opportunity in her hands. She is, she's got something. Something of value. She's got something of value. And there's been some sort of, we have somebody here that is, I don't know if they're guilty. You know, judgment reversed. This is like something about a reconciliation they may have some guilt over a reconciliation or they want a reconciliation with somebody judgment is a card of reconciliation with the past judgment reversed is lack of truth there's a there's dishonesty here somebody is not telling the truth We have somebody that is is has been fighting. They've been fighting a lot. They've been in a battle. They they're still fighting. They're still in the battle. They're still fighting the truth. They're still fighting the truth. Somebody is fighting the truth. This person refuses to wake up. They, they refuse to wake up. They don't acknowledge the truth. They don't want to be held accountable for their actions. And, it, and it, this could be, you know, if you're the cross watcher, this could be your Pisces. There is somebody here that does not want to be held accountable for their actions. They don't work well with others. This person has outbursts, emotional outbursts, you know. There's emotional outbursts here. It's like this, we got somebody here that can't control their emotions. They just start to, I don't know, throw fits or something. <laughs> but we do have a queen of pentacles here who is very laid back, very stable. She just, I mean, she's very grounded. This person is grounded. She has a golden opportunity in her hands. So, I mean, that could be your energy as well. This is somebody that is knows their value. The queen of pentacles is the queen of value. Okay, she is. She's the queen of value. She's the queen of money. She's the queen of stability and security. She's a homemaker. She's devoted. She does it all. So... This queen of pentacles, she has the gold in her hand. She has the gold. Two of swords. Two of swords is a painful, stressful decision. A choice is being made. We have somebody that has been held back by fear. They may have been in denial about the truth. Definitely in denial about the truth. Somebody has been wearing a mask, pretending that everything is okay when everything is not okay. There's also some sort of illness here with the judgment reverse. That's poor health. Ignoring, ignoring the truth. Choosing not to see the truth. There's no progress being made. There's no... Uh, this battle is about to end, put it that way. Something is coming to a halt. It's coming to a stop. We got somebody here that can't do it anymore. They're giving up. The Nine of Wands reversed. They're completely giving up. They've reached their breaking point. And there's, and I hate to say this, but there's ignoring the truth, okay? This is it right here. I'm just going to ignore it and pretend that it, that eight of cups we saw in reversed. This is ignoring the truth right here. Ignoring it. Just I'm just going to ignore it. I'm just going to ignore the truth. But you can't just ignore the truth, okay? It just eventually it's going to happen. And now we have an unexpected choice in love. 
okay this is this is lovers the lovers so this is an unexpected choice in love i think we have somebody that is going towards another lover they are that is a new that is a that's an unexpected choice in love choice means two options and we have the two options with the two of swords somebody has been torn in two different directions but they have been staying put where they're at because i don't know why because of ignorance, no offense or anything. Um, but there's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of fighting. There's been no progress. And there's another lover here. There is another lover here where there is compatibility. There's, this is like, this is a compatible union. And that's why someone is leaving. Somebody is connecting with a lover. And I feel like it's a past life lover. If you happen to look at behind this this is like a past life connection i think we have somebody here that is connecting with a past life somebody that they've been with in a past life unexpected choice in love there's a strong deep connection here that cannot be ignored fool the fool is the is a new journey that is that is a new journey it's the new beginning so we have and we i don't know if you're dealing with an aries you could be dealing with an aries you could be dealing with a scorpio you could be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn or a cancer this is a new beginning we have somebody here that is taking a leap of faith they are stepping into new territory they're leaving the past behind they're leaving it all behind they're making the decision to do so this this fool we let let's go of their fear and just takes a risk somebody is going to be doing something very uh, as well it's courageous this is an exciting new beginning you're gonna be broken free from something you're gonna be going your own way that that's freedom that is freedom Freedom from something that you have been ignoring. You've been ignoring the truth about the partnership. There is a new love here, either for you or the person that you're dealing with. And I think you've been ignoring it, or they've been, or maybe you both have been ignoring it. I think that things are about to come to a stop. I think there's going to be an outburst, you know. Um... We have a very cocky individual here that is very smug, that is unwilling to uh, be held accountable for anything. You know, this person is uh, in denial of, whether it's, it could be you, it could be the other person. This person is in denial, you know, they're in denial that they just choose to pretend that everything is okay. There's no love in these cards, none. There's a lot of fighting though, there's a lot of bickering, there's a lot of pettiness, and there's some competition here. Okay? So I do believe, and we got the Queen of Cups reversed. So this is heartbreaking, it's sadness, it's, it's uh, drowning in emotions, there's also hypersensitive, there's victim, there's fantasy, unable to... Uh, show emotions to show love we got somebody here that is emotionally withdrawn and i feel like we have an individual that is is uh following their heart in a new direction towards a, a love connection that they are more suited for oh i just cut it to the queen of pentacles again so you're definitely dealing with a queen of pentacles. Could be the other person. This queen of pentacles is very, I mean, she is uh, very devoted. She's a homemaker. She's a businesswoman. She does it all. She takes care of the home. She cooks. She cleans. She does it all. And she's stable. And she has a lot to offer. So anyhow, ooh. Now we got a tower moment. So we have a we have a fated event. So something is going to come crashing down. This is a dismantling of a false sense of security. Okay? So we have a dismantling of a false sense of security. This isn't stable. It's not solid. This is a major uproar um, on the home front or, you know, in the 
in a structure could have to do with a body you know we have we have somebody's uh, structure or or foundation that is crumbling it's gonna crumble really 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 fast it does lead to a golden opportunity it also leads to freedom because that fool card is freedom this is a golden opportunity this may be something that you asked for. Maybe you were asking for something uh, more or you were asking for freedom, you know? The universe hears your thoughts, ones or thoughts. You know, if you were, you know, maybe, maybe when you got in a fight, you started begging for freedom. You know, you said to the universe, because the world card is a universe card. If you say, uh, and I don't even have the world here, but whatever. But the tower is, and the tower is a universe card. But anyhow, um, you know, they hear your prayers. They hear your thoughts. They hear your other person's thoughts. So anyhow, I do believe there's going to be a major disruption that is going to change your life. It's a life-changing event, and somebody is leaving your life. And that is what I got. And God bless. Good luck.